Hey guys, we don't know if you can see or hear us or if you can only do one or the other. <laughs> this is the, the, considered the lost manga pod now. <laughs> <laughs> But um, it's stuck in a labyrinth of magic. Something, yeah. It's, how fitting. Maybe somebody cast like some magic on us. The rook are not working in our favor today. But um, so we are gonna go ahead and cancel the stream for tonight because we won't have a vod for YouTube because the stream is not. XSplit isn't letting me stream to YouTube for some reason, so I have to get that figured out. So, so we were like, oh, it's not letting me stream to YouTube. We'll just stream to Twitch and then download the vod from that and. And that's not working either. So, um, pretty much everybody yeah. is now saying that it's working though. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but now this will only be like a half an hour manga pod. <laughs> Final <laughs> pods and ratings. But they can't Final see it's working. No, no, no. Oh my God. Okay. Listen. <laughs> what? what do we do? I think I think they're saying okay. no to the canceling. I think that's what they're saying yeah, no to. They're saying no. I'm not getting. I'm not getting it. Guys, do we just do a half hour Mad Guy manga pod? Let's just let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's do let's it. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Guys, you know spoiler free description. You go. Yeah, you know who we are. Oh, do it. Super awesome. First, we're gonna do a spoiler free description for those of you who don't want to be spoiled. <laughs> All right. What's the synopsis? We got. This is a story about the flow of fate and the battle to keep the world on the right path. Aladdin is a boy who has set out to explore the world after being trapped in a room for most of his life. His best friend is a flute with a djinn in it named Ugo. Soon enough, Aladdin discovers he is a magi, a magician who chooses kings, and he was born to choose kings who will follow the righteous path, battling against those who want to destroy fate. Follow his adventures as he meets others from 1001 Nights like Alibaba and Sinbad and fights to keep the balance of the world in check. <laughs> Beautiful. Spoiler free recommendation. Do you guys recommend it? Yes, I recommend it. it. Go read it. Yeah, it's super awesome. Okay, perfect. Like Stop being a spoiler free. If you or spoiler description. If you guys know what I <laughs> count down to the spoiler. If session. you guys don't want to be spoiled, that's a big relief. Two. <laughs> one. one. Aladdin, Aladdin is, gone. is gone. Okay, perfect. Guys, what were your expectations? Expectations. This is my first time reading it. I didn't watch the anime, and I fucking loved it. Perfect. Real good. Now, expectations. I expected real good things because I've heard a lot of good things about this, specifically from Forever World. Yes, I've heard really good. Well, I've watched the anime and we've read the manga up until um, chapter ninety-eight already, um, and I absolutely loved both the anime and the manga. Manga is definitely better in terms of story and pacing. A one picture is definitely fudged up some stuff in terms of a lot of things um, in the anime, but I absolutely adore the characters and the world and the politics, and so going into this, it was just even more excitement about wanting to read. I've never dreaded for a moment reading more Magi. Or Magi. Magi. I feel so bad for everybody in chat right now who's like, it's my first mom of God. <laughs> I'm just like, go! <laughs> and we didn't even describe, for never World wasn't able to make it tonight because... <laughs> <laughs> he's having problems. Go send him love on Twitter. Go send him love on Twitter. Love on Twitter. He's wonderful. Um, Guys, I just got an email that Dexterity Bonus just went live on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing. Um, I I love Magi. The very first time that we read it, I read way past where we were supposed to stop. Um, unfortunately, it had been so long that when I got back to read it for this week, I was like, I don't know what any of these words mean. <laughs> I didn't remember what like anything was. So it took a couple of chapters, but I expected it to continue to be good and it continued to be good. Mm -hmm. So I was delighted. It's definitely, um, it's definitely one of those series that you get lost in. You get lost in the story really easily just because the characters are so engaging. And then also you have a world that's been built that is both magical and political. And so you get these two different aspects to the manga that necessarily you weren't, with a lot of shonen manga you may not have expected to get. And the political stuff is really fascinating. Too. Yeah, I love all the stuff with Sinbad because like he's built up as a very specific type of person and I love watching that sort of unravel. Like the more we peek behind the curtain, we're like, who are you? What's going on with you? Like, I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's yeah. Lou, what was your impression of Sinbad? Because since you read from the start all the way up, I want to hear what you got, you thought was on that. Uh, basically, what um, what's been said that it's, we've seen a real interesting progression on that character. He's initially painted as one way, and just gradually we're chipping away at that um, that image that he's crafted for himself, and we're seeing, I guess, a little bit of a darker side at times. And it's. I'm just looking forward to seeing where it goes 
from this point to see how far that gets taken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that um, in that, like we already had it established that he would do most anything to protect his country, but I like that we're starting to see like how far that manipulation could possibly go. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. the sort of relationships he's willing to destroy or create in order to do that. Yeah. Um, and I, I like that we're, you know, which we we knew, we knew he would do it, but I like that we're seeing Aladdin be like, but I'm not your mad guy. Mm -hmm. You know, like yes. Sinbad was like, you want to go do a thing and be our mad guy? And he was like, just slipped that in there. I'm not your mad guy. I was like, good. Yeah. <laughs> good job, like Sinbad is real slick. slick. Yeah. Sinbad mm -hmm. is kind of like, if he didn't have, I don't know, if he wasn't painted as a good guy, he could easily like be somebody who was a bad guy, like a sleazy bad oh. guy. If there wasn't the charisma that he had and the obvious good heartedness that he has in terms of like his motivations for doing what he does, there's a very thin line there between what could make him a good guy and what could make him a villain. And that's totally. really interesting. And I love that um, Aladdin, something about um, Magi, 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 um, mm -hmm. something that it does a lot of is not going where I'm expecting it to go. Um, like, I know I said this in the last, like, I think it was the first manga pod. Because the very first, um, by the way, no spoilers past anything one, that we read in 133. Yeah, we don't go anything Please past no chapter 133. It's time out and ban your Ron Bacon butt. butt. Okay, thanks. Um, back in, like, the first few chapters where we have the time where Aladdin and Alibaba first meet, they actually split up and like there's numerous chapters where they aren't together and then they get back together um and i remember when i was reading that and watching in the anime i was like no they're supposed to stay together and go on our adventures and be friends yeah yeah <laughs> and that same thing happened again with this where aladdin's like no i need to go off on my own my and i need you to go do and do shit. this and so um that's something that like for me when because I, I had that happen in the anime, I think, before I read it in the manga. Um, and so and when I was watching in the anime, I was like, no, they're supposed to be together! And yeah. so I was, like, <laughs> not looking forward to it. But at the same time, it's really exciting to see where each character is going to go and how they're going to grow. And it adds to that moment of, like, but when they get back together, it'll probably be really, really cool. Yeah. Can, can I say something that, that really throws me off? But I really appreciate about this manga is its sense of scale. Um, I, I it, it feels like it's maintaining this large environment, and we're constantly being given information that builds upon this this just massive world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I what I really like about it is that it's a constant stream of information that's constantly building the world, as opposed to a lot of shonen manga that I've read. Um, will build the world when necessary but tend to focus around the main characters mm -hmm. and what's immediately around them so i think the politics of the world of maggie not only but not only in sinbad's country but in and the other countries and the, and the relations between those countries we're seeing all of it at once which i don't think is something that a lot of other shonen manga tend to balance very well mm -hmm. and it, it's clear Right. Like I, I rarely find myself confused. I'm like, ah, you're the guys doing this weird racist shit. Oh, and and this is Sinbad's place. And this is where Morgana came from. And like, mm -hmm. it's like pretty easy to keep all of that clear. Um, and yeah, building off of what Aaron was saying, I'm like, yeah, I, I like I like that we've had this whole situation before of like going our separate ways and doing things and becoming better people and then reuniting. And now everybody's like, all right, I got it. I have a thing to do. Mm -hmm. You know, like all of them are like, I have a thing that I need to do. Yeah. Um, and and I'm I'm feeling more positive. Well, except except for sweet baby, you you. <laughs> it's like it's like I like you. You want to marry me? And she's like, no. He's like, okay, bye. <laughs> I was like, no, sweet baby. <laughs> oh my so god. Sad when he left. Get wrecked. Oh, I felt so. I love all of these characters so I much. Know. I love um with Alibaba. I a lot of people I know. A lot of people at that part where he was like, "No, Aladdin, we should stay together." And then he got mad at Aladdin because Aladdin was wanting to leave. I think a lot of people when they read that part, they were like, "Alibaba, just suck it up and be a man. You're such a whiny <laughs> bitch." But I was like, 
I think that's understandable. Like, if he can't, he doesn't, he obviously thinks very differently than <clears throat> Aladdin does. And so I think it's fascinating to have a relationship where both characters aren't always on the same page. And so you have to, like, kind of overcome a hump and, like, talk through it and, like, figure it out, like, why the other person's doing it. And so, um... To see, like, the whole part with Alibaba where he snuck onto the boat and was like... Oh, my God. And then they started, like, saying shit about him. I loved that part. And just all of their smug faces. Yeah. <laughs> it was really sad. It's just like... <laughs> so I was like, poor precious Alibaba. You just are such a goober. Alibaba is the biggest goober in Mad I yeah. think. Like, Hakanu can get pretty goobery. Like, earlier on, he was pretty goobery when yeah. we first saw him be a crybaby. But Alibaba is, like, no better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, totally. And I think that's why mm-hmm. that's why it's like endearing to watch them fight mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. Like, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It's like you're both children. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think that was another reason why I really liked um, the whole story with the pirate mother, too. Mm-hmm. Like it was short, but it it gave us some interesting insight into like how much they have grown and how they look at the world. And we also got to see, you know back backstory ish stuff but um yeah for Hakuru yeah I think it's interesting that at this point pretty much everybody feels like Aladdin is the most has been pushed the most toward being an adult and he's like definitely the youngest Mm -hmm. out of all of them Mm -hmm. but like he he's had so much put on him you know just like hey you're like a really powerful being. Also, you're not supposed to exist because there's only supposed to be three at a time and you're the fourth. Mm-hmm. That's weird. Also, hey, can you like banish the darkness away from people's souls? I don't know. <laughs> Just like that's a lot to deal with. Yeah. Right? And he's dealing like, with it really well. Yeah. Like um, something that like this manga reminds me a lot of Avatar The, uh, the Last Airbender. Mm-hmm. And I can see the parallels between uh, like Aladdin and Aang. In that they're uh, they're young characters with really important roles, um, where they're they're clearly different from everybody else in the world. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's just that as I was reading it, that parallel or that comparison just kept on popping up in my head. Mm-hmm. With again, how it, how it balances scale. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's that's just something I I, I found is really interesting. Like it, it made me appreciate it more because it felt familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. What? God. What's going on? What? What's, What's going happening? on? We only have 20 minutes. Will you shush it? Yeah, you need to cool yeah, it. Yeah, be cool, guys. Be cool. They're wagging their tails and barking. I don't understand. Um. Yeah, no. so we got, like, a lot of... We got some pretty big reveals in this section. Like, we got to see what happened with Hakudu in his mm-hmm. past. And then we also um, got the reveal, like Dodger said, that there's only supposed to be three Magi in the world at one time, but for some reason, Aladdin exists. Yeah. So what were your guys' thoughts when you read read that part? Like, have you been, think has that, like, brought up any, like, theories about why he may be there, or, like, what that could possibly mean for the future of the world? Well, like, I feel like, Ugo did it for a specific reason, but we don't know what that reason is, mm-hmm. you know? And, like, he even said, he was like, why'd Ugo bring me here? And I'm yeah. like, I don't know, Aladdin. <laughs> I miss Ugo. <laughs> I know! <laughs> like, that's something I wish we would have gotten more of, like, more information building towards that, if at least, like, little tidbits of information. Because we did read, um, we did read over 40 chapters. Technically, we read a little bit more. Some of us did. And um, and still, no none of those little nuggets of of information were given to us, and that's just something that it, it felt like it was just kind of left there as an important plot point that would be revisited later, and that kind of bothered me because if yeah. it, you know, it's like plot blue, uh, blue balls is what it was. <laughs> plot balls, plot balls. Yeah, plot balls. It was plot balls. <laughs> all just came in and was kind of like hey i'm here to tell you about this information or that make sure the reader knows this information and i'm yeah. a little jerk <laughs> Janal. every time he shows up i'm like i love you and i fucking hate you 
Like, he always just shows up as like, lol, and then just leaves. I'm like, why? Why did you do that? And I love, yeah, I love that he showed up, was like, I'm declaring war on y'alls, and then just left, and then went back to his king, and his king was like, lol, nice one. And everyone yeah! else is horrified. Everyone's like, you can't do that. And his king's like, <laughs> he's like, eat that war. Yeah, we're gonna have a war sick. Awesome. That's not what you guys are so messed yeah, up. Yeah, listen, um, Judal reminds me so much of um Hanamiya. Hanamiya yeah. from Kroko Nabaske. So if somebody could draw me fan art of Hanamiya and Judal, I will be yeah, forever just doing this. Yeah. yeah. Doing that, doing some smooches, beating each other up because I'd probably be what they do. But you know, whatever. Just give it to me, please. Thanks. Okay. Aaron convinced me that's a valid ship. It is a valid ship. All of my ships on Manga Pod are valid ships, including Nagisa x Kuroko and Killua x Kun from Tower of Nine. It's all valid. <laughs> all, all real. Valid. Mm-hmm. It's all real and head. All unsinkable. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Can we talk about actual ships in Magi? Welcome to Manga Pod. Sorry. <laughs> we don't have to. I, I was okay. I know I already said it, but like I thought it was really precious when he. With, yeah, when he was like, I like you. And I was like, oh my God, are you confessing? This is so exciting. And like, it wasn't, it wasn't like, it was a full on no, mm-hmm. leave. You know, yeah. it, was, it makes me happy, but I can't go with you. And I was like, oh, like, um, I just love Moriana because it was me a very, too. her reaction to him was a very more reaction. Like, yeah. she just didn't, she didn't know how to re- reciprocate those feelings, so she didn't feel genuine, like, saying the same thing back to him. So she was just like, I just don't know, I can't right now. Yeah, yeah, it was just a very honest, like, it makes me feel nice that you like me, but I know, <laughs> you know, and I was just like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. More is waifu. Yeah, more best girl. Pretty much any time that she gets to be beat people up i'm like yes 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 the whole pirate scene but she was like i'm just gonna yeah she just runs around she just goes and beats the crap out of everyone everybody in the tunnel so i was like yes 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 yes." she (laughs) is one of the best like she's not just badass she's also just incredibly well written and just really fun to learn about and watch her grow and interact with people and for a shonen like to have a strong female character like that as one of the main trio just makes me so happy makes her really happy because she's such an integral part of the group like she totally. does so much and she's not just there to like be fan service or look pretty or squeal or anything like she gets shit done a lot of times more and often than other people do <laughs> yeah she gets and especially, all the shit done <laughs> yeah no especially like it, it like her getting shit done was something that was established from the beginning that mm-hmm. she was just a badass character and it's been something that's been consistent throughout the manga yeah. Which I, normally, normally you have girls falling into into categories of of just uh, fan service character. Like, look at uh, an example: all the girls from Bleach, all of them, <laughs> all of them. All of them. <laughs> yeah, it's just like yeah. like being really useful at first, and then mm-hmm. almost being a plot device for a different character to surpass them. Mm-hmm. To be like, look at this really powerful person. And then, like, that showcases the character who we're supposed to care about. Yeah. <laughs> you know, becoming more powerful than them. And they're like, oh, guess there's nothing else for me to do now. And then they're just, like, in the background. Mm-hmm. Um, Moriana has never once fallen into that at all. Mm-hmm. She is, like, for sure her own character with her own strengths. And I love her so much. Yeah. And none of them, like, we had a few times where people were like, no, like, women should stay out of a battle like this. And she was just, like, not having it. She slammed her foot <laughs> yeah, down. Just like, it just, like, <laughs> slammed that sexism out, like, out the door. And we have not seen that <laughs> doubt from anybody since. It's just been bad. Yeah. It was so badass. Yeah. Yeah, I love her. Um, God, I just love the main trio so much. Their, char- their like, and relationships are so cute. And their teachers. Yes, and their teachers. <laughs> of the eight generals. Oh, my God. All of their teachers. And, like, when they were got out of the dungeon and yes. Alibaba was like, I don't, I can't face him. Oh, no. <laughs> like, reflecting on it, like, everybody else did something useful. And I, oh, no. Yes. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> what did I do? I didn't even <laughs> equip my gin correctly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I like that he still hasn't. 
too. Yeah, I love mm-hmm. that. That's, that's still something... like something he can't quite figure yeah, out. Yeah, I am so happy. Like, there's times where I'm like, oh man, Alibaba, I wish you would be able to do this. But at the same time, I'm like, thank God there's a manga taking time to lead up to the character being powerful. Like, yeah, they're giving us the his actual struggle with it, where we're learn we're watching him attempt and try but not quite getting it like he can't find that piece and it's not happening right away like we're 133 chapters in and he's definitely displayed strengths and won battles and done stuff but um the one thing that he truly wants to master that will make him like super powerful he's having a hard time doing and i love that that he's having a hard time doing it and and i can uh like that's just a mangaka building towards a really important moment and once that moment finally happens it's going to be the hypest shit ever Mm -hmm. totally and it's also a good catalyst for him to have a journey as well yeah while Mm -hmm. everybody else is like you know going on their own journeys that's something for him to work toward Mm -hmm. so that they're all so that they're all working to be better people and then when they come back together we're gonna be like ah (laughs) so yeah yeah and the little the little sister too. How she was like, I'm gonna go home. Yeah. But I won't use my powers to fight you. And yeah. I was like, Yeah. Yeah, I love how she was like so in love with Sinbad. She's I know. Just... And Sinbad is totally using her. Like he is using that to his full advantage, which is one of the things that's like, God, Sinbad, you are that is not nice. That is not what a nice person <laughs> would do. Yeah. But he, but he, like, totally gets it. And Jafar totally understands it. Even though I think it's harder for Jafar to, like, go along with it, he still does because he has that much trust in Sinbad. Yeah. Can we talk oh. about... Sorry, sorry. sorry. Talking about Sinbad. Can we talk about how fucking awesome it was when they got the, like, black curse from that one dude? Oh, and the yeah. dude took off and Sinbad just comes through the teleporter <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> it's like, hey, how's it going? I was like, ah! And the oh, half... God. Half of his Ryuk is already, already like, messed dar- up. Already fallen, mm-hmm. yeah. Which was another reveal. But that was, was just like, like it was such a fast, it wasn't like a battle even. It was just no. a fast scene. But it was one of the most epic parts that we've read, I think. It was so cool. Um, I loved when he turned into a tiny satyr <laughs> yeah. and put everybody to sleep. I was like. Mm-hmm. And he was just like all fat just like a little <laughs> fat satyr yeah just like hey was it was like, basically just... jigglypuff yeah <laughs> it's amazing it was so cute he's like a little cherub yeah how many jinn does he have seven i think it's seven Is he it? conquered seven dungeons i believe so he's got seven yeah and he's got so tons of followers who have household vessels so right yeah um, which, by the way, if you guys are confused about the difference between a metal vessel and a household vessel, household vessels are specific to specific households and given from a dungeon conqueror. There you go. The more you know. I wikied that. <laughs> Man, yeah, those first couple of chapters, when we hadn't read this in a while, I was like, Magoi. Rex, oh god, <laughs> it's like what and is all of like, this? Remembering there's a difference between people who have gins and household vessels and people who are ma- like magicians. magicians. Yeah, I was like, wait, why is there a dip? What is the dip? Oh, that's the dip. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, let's talk about art really fast. Let's talk about art. What are your guys' thoughts on that? I mean, uh, I think I've. I assume I've said this in the past. The art isn't like extremely clean, but I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the character designs a lot. I think everybody winds up looking really interesting. So, <clears throat> Lou, what were your thoughts on it? I think it has the potential to be good when the mangaka opts for the more minimalistic uh, panels. Mm-hmm. Like, whatever. Like there's a lot of these these single like these single page panels, um, that are just super cluttered and it's really hard to make out everything that's on the page. Yeah. And that's what I yeah. think makes it. That's what really hurts the art for me. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of it where even having read 133 chapters, um, a lot of it is really muddy. There's yeah, a lot. I agree with um, that especially during like some fight scenes and action scenes, there's a lot of times where I have to just look at it and be like, I 
don't quite understand where this person is in comparison to this person or what's yeah. happening. Um, so I have to rely on dialogue or context clues to really figure it out. Yeah, or like um, like I, I was saying before Mangapod, I didn't remember that they were in a dungeon mm-hmm. when we like first started reading, but because like the backgrounds weren't quite detailed enough, while I was reading, I was going, they're outside, right? Oh my god, they're not outside. Holy, they're in a dungeon. Like, yeah. it like slowly <laughs> unraveled for me because the background doesn't have a lot of detail either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's just, yeah, the background doesn't have detail. And then um, the character, I will say that the character's expressions are always really clear. Like, mm-hmm. in terms of mm-hmm. what emotion they're feeling, it's always very obvious what emotion is they're feeling. And so I think the care like, the mangaka's biggest, like, best strength is in terms of getting the characters to emote and letting us understand what the characters are feeling in terms of the art and like the characters designs are always really neat that's something i like you said i Mm -hmm. love how varied the character designs are there are times where like if the artist if the mangaka doesn't put in as much detail in certain panels where it's like Wait, okay, which characters, who, which, but you can, yeah, oh, there's always, is this? yeah, but there's yeah. always something, either if it's, like, clothes or, like, one piece of hair or something that you're able to tell the main characters apart, for sure. Who's everybody's favorite character, like, in terms of design? Oh, I love Hakuru's design. I like his scar. <laughs> yeah, me too. I like his. Um, And I also, gosh, I like so many of their character designs. I like, <laughs> I like all of the, like, almost more than the character designs, I like all of the clothes and jewelry yes. that people wear. Yes. Because it's very different from the designs used for most anime and manga characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think the, a lot of that, world. yeah, the setting is, uh, the it setting plays into the, the Arabian Night mm-hmm. setting. Mm-hmm. And I, lo- yeah, I love Moriana's clothes. This is from like a few, like way long ago. But when she does her dancing scene, I love yeah. her dress and her hair so much, so much. The all of the clothes is really neat. Like I want to own all of them. <laughs> dragon general, best girl. What? Wait. The general who looks like oh. a big dragon. <laughs> I thought you said. Like I thought drag you said face. drag in general, and I was like, "Who dressed in drag?" I guess Drew Doll, <laughs> kinda, but Dahl always. not really. I was so confused. She was infected by Tumblr for a second. It's okay. <laughs> drag in general, <laughs> best girl. <laughs> um, I'm excited. I hope that there's a ton of cosplay, mad guy cosplayers at Anime Expo. There was last year. So I hope there's more because it's really cool. It's just really neat outfits. Yeah. But um, Lou, who's your favorite in terms of design? Alibaba. Alibaba. I like mm-hmm. Alibaba's too. It's a classic shonen design. And it looks, it's just, of the designs, I think that's his is just the cleanest. Like in terms of, like he's consistently drawn to look like he's meant to be the best looking person on the page. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's so, I always. I love him so much. Like, he's just, he's one of those characters that is very standard, but I just adore those kind of characters. And so I really mm-hmm. like him. What was the name of the djinn that, was it Z- Zatal? Zagan. Zagan. He's <laughs> like my favorite, like, he was right at the beginning, but he was like my favorite part of what we read. Just yeah. like, Alibaba being like, hey, what's up? And he's like, <laughs> like <sparks. laughs> I, I hate humans. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like specifically Alibaba. <laughs> Only Alibaba, yeah. It's just like, please don't come near me, you're gross. <laughs> oh my like, god. I love this? Um Sinbad's design is also really good. And I like the creativity that goes into when he equips the gins. Um yeah. the creativity that goes into those designs. When anybody full equip full gin equips, their just design is so cool. Even mm-hmm. though it's like they lose all clothing. It's still epic. It really still fine. Mm-hmm. It's so cool. Okay. Um, we are coming up with, let's see, 10 minutes left. Does anybody have anything else they want to touch on? I know that we, like, skipped over a ton of stuff because this was the super fast manga pod. Super fast manga pod. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything. We had, um, 
trying to think. Oh, we have the um the big foreshadowing thing with Alibaba about how his ma- his uh Magoi changed. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, because of Kasim being in him. That sounded weird. <laughs> but it's what happened, okay? <laughs> Aaron infected by Tumblr now. It's okay. It's communicable. <laughs> Kasim was in drag. What? Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we had that part pop up. And so that also adds to him his journey and like having to figure out and so that's leading him to the place where he's going and so he's going to i can't remember the name of the state that he's going to but he's going to the place that's basically kind of like a roman like symbolizes Mm -hmm. rome yeah and then um aladdin is heading to the kingdom of the kingdom of magic which is the magic school which is there's a ton of like dark yeah racism and darkness going on there which is another part of the politics that they've handled before too but just like they've handled classism before and so now to see them handle the aspect of people who are magicians versus people who are not is going to be something that's really fascinating because they handle those topics really delicately while also being really raw about them Mm -hmm. which is i like they build they build really nicely Mm mm-hmm uh, Moriana is going to visit the dark continent where she was from. Mm-hmm. She's been told that none of her people are left there. But she still wants to go for closure. Yeah. And Hakuru is going back to his kingdom. Yeah. Too. So they're all splitting up. But it's fine. It's so sad. It's fine. And he's going to go home and nurse a broken heart. <laughs> <laughs> to his mom, who's like the biggest bee to in the world. <laughs> like mom i hate you and i'm gonna kill you one day but i told a girl i like her and she <laughs> said she didn't want to date me <laughs> can we talk about can we talk about how like you know the character designs are real creative but the mangaka is not creative with names yeah like i guess mm-hmm. like they're gonna have to get creative because there is so many only so many combinations of k-o-u whatever that you can make for family yeah. But that is so confusing. I'm just like, wait, which one is... Okay, this one all starts with H-A. This is all K-O-U. K-O-G-E-N. 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 And I was like, what the fuck is happening? (laughs) I get so confused when it comes to those names. I have... Like, there's just so many characters. As long as there's pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time, they're just talking about shit. And you're like, who? One what was that? I yeah. liked it when he, when like Jude all went back and they had little boxes saying every single, every single characters like of the Coe's family's names, and I was like, good, good. <laughs> if you can have those boxes <laughs> pop up every single time, that'd be brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's wrap up and give our final thoughts and ratings. Who wants to go first? Our ratings last time. I'm gonna look really quick. Oh yeah, that's a good, good idea. Um, I'll go and I'll go. Yeah, first Lou, because you I, don't have one. Exactly. Um, so for the section prior to what was assigned, since I did all that reading at once, I think I should at least touch upon that. I I really loved it. Um, it did a lot to build the world and establish what the characters are. And Whoa, my God! If... Sorry, a bug. I know it. <laughs> It's like, are you okay? <laughs> she was just blown away by my opinions on my. A bug just fucking jumped, fell from the ceiling right in front of my face. Oh, this I'm is okay. Wonderful. I'm okay. Go on, Lou. It's fine. Anyways, so um, the the section that I read uh, before gets uh, would get an eight, and as for the section that we actually were reading for this manga pod, I think it continued to do more of the same. Um, it brought some interesting little plot elements like uh, the dev- the continued development of Sinbad's character and where they're going from here. So I would I would bump it up to like an 8.2 is where we're at right now. Uh, we gave it, both of us, Aaron, gave it an 8.5 last time. Oh, okay. I would stick with an 8.5. I would stick with an 8.5 too. Um, I wouldn't <laughs> say necessarily, it didn't drop at all and it definitely... It definitely didn't drop, but it also didn't increase. It consistently, like what even Lou said, like it consistently did everything that it did really well. And I don't necessarily have any like full-on critiques other than I think the art 
could be better because it gets muddy and it's really confusing at times, but is doing so good at setting up more of a journey that has already been incredibly fun and that and also really interesting, both in terms of politics and in terms of like the characters and who they are and everything. Yeah, Lou, what happened? Perbot's making me laugh. <laughs> oh, Perbot, fuck JP. <laughs> Hashtag fuckboy. Hashtag fuckboy. <laughs> Hashtag fuckboy. <laughs> um, and the characters have like the characters have still been awesome. They like we're still getting to see them grow and like see more about them and watch them interact, and they're just growing more as people, but staying the same fantastic characters that we've had for 133 chapters. We're just learning more about them and watching them. We're actually on. A journey with them which is really yeah. cool so i agree with everything you said cool perfect done 8.5 8.5 8.2 right lou yeah awesome. great we did right. it that has been mad guy manga pod once again we're really sorry about how fast everything <laughs> happened um <laughs> we had like i said a lot of technical issues but it's okay it's fine um and we will actually be off next week because it is e3 so we will be not be doing a manga pod but we will be returning the week after that with i'm just gonna say it because we're short on time um not gonna give you guys like oh you have to guess it <laughs> uh, <laughs> um we'll be returning on june 23rd with kids on a slope volumes one through three with special guest ebby so that should be and super fun. yoku said and yoku yes yoku said so everybody go tweet at him and be like yo you promised i'm holding you to it because <laughs> yo, be yoku we miss you we yoku, love you we miss you, you could say that if you wanted to be nicer <laughs> yeah <laughs> that'd be good yeah Fine. Do both, though. Fine. Like, two separate tweets. Yeah, two tweets. One right after another. Like, or actually, no, three. Three. First, like, Yoku, you promised. That's one. Two. Oh, but we miss you and we love you. Three. No, but seriously, though. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. <laughs> yeah, sandwich. there you go. Yeah. You gotta sandwich You have it. to sandwich the, the praise mm -hmm. with, come on. Disappointment. Yes. <laughs> Preemptive <laughs> just disappointment. Kidding. We miss Yoku so much. I just miss him so much. That's why. Yeah, me too. Why I feel these feelings. But thank you all so much for joining us for my. Oh, we should shout out our stuff. Hi, I'm Aaron of Happily Aaron. You can find my stuff on YouTube.com slash Happily Aaron. All the previous manga pods are hosted there, as well as I do anime related content like first impressions and reviews and vlogs and such. So. Definitely. And all her social medias are Happily Aaron. Yeah, that too. All across uh, the everything. Thanks. All Thank across you. the everything. Okay. I'm Dodger. You can find me on YouTube.com slash Press Art to Continue, where I do visual novels and dating sims. You can also find me on Twitch.tv slash Dexterity Bonus, which might be where you're watching Manga Pod right now. And on all the social medias, I'm at Dex Bonus, D-E-X-B-O-N-U-S. My Whee! name's Lou, and I'm from Sitting by the Window Anime Reviews. You can find me at YouTube.com slash SBTW Anime Reviews, where I do anime-related content, mostly reviews and first impressions. Um, I haven't put out a video in a little bit, but I'm going to start working on that right away. Like right after this manga pod, I already have scripts done. So yeah, Whee! I'm going to get on it. You can find me on uh, Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash SBTW Anime Review. Also, Ask FM, please help me out. It makes my workday go longer or my workday shorter <laughs> because it's it's brutal. I work 50 hours a week and that's why I'm always tired. Aww. So yeah, help, help a brother out. Help a brother out. Ask some questions. Yes. Keep it G. Ask Keep some it questions. Honey. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you on June 23rd at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here on twitch.tv slash bonus and hopefully youtube.com slash happily and we're hoping that exploit finally lets us do it again. But thank you guys so much and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. 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 Bye.